Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another vintage fountain pen review brought to you from my hospital room. Today I have for you guys a wonderful, wonderful piece, a beautiful, beautiful small celluloid. I hope you can see in this lighting this beautiful, beautiful celluloid. Actually quite a small fountain pen, but a wonderful, wonderful pen. When I bought it, I bought it just for the beautiful, beautiful celluloid material. You can see it's in this green marble, marble material. I uh, bought it from a local Facebook group and I paid for it 150 lays, including the shipment cost, which means I paid around 30.43 euros or 31.12 American dollars. When I received it, I've discovered an interesting, interesting thing. And um, you can see that engraved on the barrel we have thermically engraved Alba. Well, I've researched this brand's name and fortunate enough I found it in a book by a famous Italian collector Letizia Giacobini. It is actually a smaller, smaller Italian brand that was originated in uh, Turin or Torino, Italy. Although it's not much is known about them, it appears that uh, the firm was set up by ex-employees of the great producer Aurora. Well, practically Alba, the company name they choose for it, also suggests a connection with the great Aurora producer because both Alba and Aurora they are synonyms and they mean Dawn in Italian. Also the Dawn theme is featured in the film's advertisements which show a rooster in front of the sun and the sun is surrounded by the word Alba. Alba pen were made between the first half of the 40s and the second half of the 1950s and uh, they resemble in their design a lot like their big uh, brother Aurora. Analyzing this fountain pen based on the material and the design and of course based on the fact that we have here a button filler it suggests that we have a model from the early 1940s. A small, small model. In fact, I will leave its dimensions on the screen. Beautifully, beautifully executed. We have the same celluloid material on both the cap and the barrel. The fake or the blind cap that ends it in this it's in this simple simple black celluloid and uh, the wonderful wonderful cap ends in two rings and it has an interesting feature we don't have a clip on this pen but instead we have this ring and it was meant for uh, the ladies or for it to be carried on a necklace at the neck Okay, when uh, we unscrew it, we can see the typical design of the 1930s and the 1940s, this concave and the grip section, and an interesting, interesting nib. I'm not so sure that it is original to this particular model. We have uh, engraved on it Iridium, and what appears to be FBT or a TFB number two nib. It is a steel nib 
it was corroded in time as you can see and on the back we have an interesting ammonite feed which resembles a lot with the Parker duofold feed of that period the so-called Christmas tree feed based on its shape so guys I have here a product, an Italian product, a wonderful, wonderful piece from the early 1940s in a beautiful, beautiful state. Probably the, it needs to be replaced and uh, if I try to open it like this, you can see that it opens and it opens quite, quite easy like this guys probably inside we have the remains of the calcinated sack let me see yes we have some residues right over there so definitely this needs to be restored or the sack needs to be replaced it is a great thing that we can open it also the rods the rods of the bottom filler need to be checked out for corrosion. So this is the fountain pen guys. And um, we will do also a writing sample with it. First of all, let me see. We can cap it as you can see and we can uh, use it quite, quite nice. So, before I will do the writing sample, let me change the angle of the camera, guys. Okay. And I will take this Mont Blanc Royal Blue ink. I will dip the pen in ink. And I will start writing with it. So, guys, we have an Alba. I'm sorry. Alba, this is a celluloid. This is a bottom filler. An interesting, interesting nib. I will dip it again in ink. I need um, the flow to be constant. So this product was made in Italy, made in Italy, to be exact, in the town of Turin, or Torino in Italian, Turin. And based on its design, this is a model from the early 1940s. It has a steel nib steel nib fitted with an iridium tip based on the way it writes i think that this is an m nib m for medium a medium nib i'm not so sure that this nib is original to the alba model let me see how flexible this steel nib is And surprisingly enough, it has a little, a little flex to it. You can barely notice it, but I assure you, it is there. It seems to be quite, quite a juicy, juicy nib. Yes, as you can see. Let me see the line variance if we have some. So no pressure here and pressure here. Unfortunately, I have a little bit of a dust there and let me see. Yes, I think I have a tissue right here. So when it has a little dust there, it doesn't do very well to the writing sample. So let me put the tissue here. Let me dip it again in a little bit of ink. And uh, let me see again the line variance. So no pressure here and pressure here. No visible line variance. I'm uh, pretty curious to see if I can reverse write with it. 
reverse writing so i'm quite surprised in reverse writing it writes like an f it writes surprisingly well so the uh, reverse writing definitely an uh, yes definitely a possibility and now let me see so guys i will dip it again but remember where after you use the ink bottle always put back the cap to avoid accidents okay let me leave the ink bottle here and now let us zoom okay because i want to tell you about the quick brown fox that um okay the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog what can i say guys a uh, nice nice nib but it scratches sometime maybe the iridium tipping has uh, faded away in time it doesn't look like we have uh, the ties misaligned so it appears to be quite quite nice of course it has seen better days practically this little scratch comes also from the lack of ink flow so it needs a constant ink flow it was not designed as a deep pen so in my opinion quite quite a nice steel nib an italian nib just look at it in comparison with the german nibs from the 1930s it does a great great job a little bit of flex specific to that period of time quite quite a nice nib again i don't know if it's original to the alba brand alba italian brand but a quite quite nice looking nib so guys this was my review of a nice celluloid from the early 1940s made in Turin, italy i want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are i hope you've enjoyed this little review if you've enjoyed this little review please subscribe to my channel to support my activity in return, I will give you interesting, interesting fountain pen reviews of both vintage and new writing instruments. Again, have a nice day, guys. Have a wonderful day, guys. If you've enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye-bye and God bless you all, my friends. Mm -hmm.